Why should you think that I should woo and scorn? Scorn and derision never come in tears. Look what I vow. I weep and vow so born in all their nativity. All truth appears. Why should these things in me seem scorn to you? With bearing the badge of faith to prove them true. You do advance your cunning more and more when truth kills truth, O devilish and holy friend. These vows are Hermia's. Will you give her over? Weigh oath with oath and nothing will you weigh. I have no judgment when to her I swore. Nor none in my mind now you give her over? Demetrius loves her, and he loves not you. <laughs> I said Demetrius loves her, and he loves not you. <sighs> oh, Helen. <laughs> Goddess, nymph, divine, to what, my love, shall I compare thine eye? Crystal is muddy, oh, how ripe and show thy lips, those kissing cherries. Tempting grow. That pure congealed white high tore snow, fanned with eastern wind, turned to a crow. When thou holdst thy hand up, oh, let me kiss this princess of pure white, this seal of bliss. When I am sure you hate me in your hearts, you both are rivals and love Hermia. Now both rivals mock Helena? A trim exploit, a manly enterprise to conjure tears in a poor man's eyes. You are unkind, Demetrius. Be not so. Oh. But you love Hermia. This you know I know. Yet here with all good will, with all my heart, in Hermia's love, I yield you up my part. And yours of Helena to me be queen. For whom I do love, and will do, till my death. Never did mockers waste such idle breath. Thy sand, or keep thy Hermia, I will none. If I ever loved her, trust me, buddy, that all that love is gone. <laughs> My heart to her, but as guest-wise, sojourn. And now, to Helen is a home-rise return, that it remains. No, Helen, it is not so. Disparage not the faith thou dost not know, lest to thy peril thou abide here. Look, where the love comes, yonder is thy ear. Dark night, that from the eye this much to taste, the ear more quick of apprehension makes. Wherein it doth impair the seeing sense, it pays the ear double recompense. Wherein it was not by my eye, Lysander found, but my ear, I thank it, brought me to thy sound. Yet, why unkindly didst thou give me? Why should he stay when love doth press to go? What love could press Lysander from my side? Lysander's love that would not let him bide. Fair Helena, who more gilds the night. Why seekest thou me? Could not this make thee know? The hate I bear thee made me leave thee so? You speak not as you think. It cannot be. Lo, she is one of this confederacy. Andrea is Hermia, most ungrateful maid. All school days, innocence, childhood friendship. We, Hermia, like two artificial gods, have with our needles created both one flower both warbling to the same song, both in the same key, as if our hands, our sides, minds, and voices had grown in corporate. So we grew together, like double cherries seeming parted, but yet in union in partition. And will you join in men in the mocking of your poor friend? Tis not friendly, tis not maidenly. Our sex, though I may chide you for it, I alone do feel the injury. Your words amaze me. I scorn you not. It seems as though you scorn me. Have you not set Lysander, as in scorn, to follow me, to praise my eyes and my face, and your other love, Demetrius, who but now did spurn me with his foot to call me goddess, nymph, divine, and rare, precious, celestial? Wherefore he speaks this to he he hates. Stay, gentle Helena, hear my excuse. My life, my love, my soul. Sweet, oh, excellent. Do not scorn her so. If she cannot entreat, I can compel. Thou canst compel no more than she entreat. Thy threats have no more strength than her weak prayers. Helen, I love thee. By my life I do. I swear by that which I have to lose for thee. Prove him false that says I love thee not. I say I love thee more than he can do. If thou say so, withdraw and prove it too. Fine, on three. One.
three. Quick, come. <laughs> Lysander, we're two times all this. Away, you Ethiop. You were too officious in her. Uh, uh, no, no, you'll seem to break loose. Take on as you would follow, but yet come not. You are a tame man. Go. Hang off, thou cat, thou burr, a vile thing. Let loose, or I will shake thee from me like a serpent. Why are you going so rude? What change is this, my love? Thy love? Out, tawny tartar. Oh, loathed <laughs> medicine. Oh, hated potion. Hence! Do you not jest? Yes, soothe, and so do you. Demetrius, I will keep my word with thee. I would, I had your bond. For I perceive a weak bond, hold you. I'll not trust your word. What? Should I strike her? Burn her? Kill her dead? Although I hate her, I'll not harm her so. What? Couldst thou do me greater harm than hate? Hate me! Wherefore? Oh my, what news is this, my love? Am not I Hermia? Are not you Lysander? I am as fair as I was erewhile. Since night you loved me, yet since night you left me. Why you left me? Oh, gods forbid! In earnest shall I say. I, by my life, and never did desire to see thee more. Therefore, be out of hope, of question, of doubt. Be certain, nothing truer, tis no jest, that I do hate thee and love Helena. Show oh, me. You, juggler, you canker blossom, you thief of love. What, did thou come by night and steal my love's heart from me? Fine, I faith, have you no modesty, no maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness? What will I, what will you tear, impatient answers from my gentle tongue? Fie, fie, you counterfeit, you puppet, you. Puppet? <laughs> Aye, that way goes the game. She hath made comparison between our statures. She hath urged her height in her person, her tall person. Her height pursuit, she hath prevailed with him. And are you going so high in his esteem? Because I'm so dwarfish and so low? How low am I, thou painted maple? Speak! How low am I? Am I not yet so low so that my cause can reach unto thine eyes? Oh, hey, 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 whoa, 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 break it up, break it up. Hey, hey, hey. I pray though you mock me, let her not hurt me. I was never cursed. I have no gift of shrewdness. I am a right maid for my cowardice. Let her not strike me. Perhaps you may think because she is something lower than myself that I can match her. Lower? Hurt! Again! Good Hermia, do not be so bitter. I evermore did love you. Have your counsels never wronged you? I told Demetrius of yourself into the wood, and he followed you there for love, and I followed him. But he hath threatened to, <laughs> to spur me, nay, to kill me too. I ask your Hermia, let me go. Quiet back to Athens, I will bear my folly. You see how simple and how fond I am. Who is that angers you? Go, get you gone. A foolish heart that I leave here behind. Oh, oh. For Lysander. With Demetrius. Be not afraid, she shall not arm thee, Helena. No, sir, she shall not. No, you take her part. Oh, when she is angry, she is keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when we went to school. Though she be but little, she is fierce. Little again? Nothing but low and little! Why should you suffer her to fought me thus? Why did you come to her? Oh, no. Get you gone, you dwarf! You minimus of hindering not grass made! You feed! You acorn! You are too officious in her behalf who scorns her services. Let her alone. Speak not of Helena. Take not her part. For if thou dost intend never so little show of love to her, thou shalt defy it. Now she holds me not. Now follow, if thou darest, to try whose right of mine or thine is most in Helena. Follow? Nay, I'll go with thee. Cheek by jowl. <laughs> you! Mistress, all this coil is long of you. Nay, go not back. I will trust you not, nor will I stay in your cursed company. Your hands may be quicker to catch a prey, but my legs are 
Walker to 